Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but let's cut straight to the chase. I've got my best on today, and this is a, well, let me do a spin real quick. So, I've got on a full front and back vest. Can you guys tell that I got it on? When I put on a real tight t-shirt, it was pretty obvious that I was wearing a vest, but my everyday clothes, my wife didn't even know that I had this vest on today. But, you can see right here, I'm wearing my vest. I got this from Safe Vest, and it's honestly the cheapest one I've ever seen, so I said, why not? These are under $300. For 300 bucks, I think just about everybody could afford one of these. But in this video, we're gonna be testing out this body armor with pistol calibers. Let me do another spin quick while you guys can see the whole deal here. So, front and back coverage. This is from Safe Vest, and like I said, in this video, I pulled out some of my favorite pistols. We're just gonna do a quick video, line all these up, shoot the vest. I'm not gonna be wearing it, but test and see if this will stop starting from small calibers all the way up to some really hot stuff. If you wanted to see the ammo caliber comparisons here, starting from left to right, we got 22 LR, 380, nine millimeter, 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP, then going to the three tall ones on the right, we got 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, and then the biggest, the 454 Casul. So now I've taken the vest off and it's sitting on this table, and here's how we're going to test it. I've got it stuffed with some paper plates here, so if the bullet goes through, then we're definitely going to see holes in those paper plates. But let's get to shooting. See how well that vest does against all of those different pistol calibers. All right, so taking all these shots at seven yards. First one, Smith & Wesson M&P 22 LR. Let's take two shots here. Aim dead center for all these and see what happens. Let's go check it out. You can see there, we definitely hit it in two different spots. Once there and once there. But, did it make any holes in those plates? The plates are completely untouched. No divots or holes. But, let's step it up a little bit and go up to the 380 to see what happens. Next shot, like I said, 380. This is a Remington RM380. A big thanks to Gun Prime. This one is one of theirs. Go check those guys out. See those 380s there? Let's we'll take two shots with the 380. About the same spot. See if this vest stops them. Good shot there. Good shot there. Let's go see if it stopped the bullet. Walking up to it, you can tell the 380 definitely made a little bit bigger marks there. One there and one right there. Definitely broke the skin on that, but you know what? I can feel bullet right there, so I know at least one of them didn't go through, but let's check the plates. Nope, no marks or dings whatsoever on those plates. Let's keep going and grab a nine millimeter. All right, a little bit different camera angle. It's so hot out here, guys. My cameras keep burning up and shutting themselves off. But real quick, now that we got the confidence with that 380 stopping, we're gonna go ahead and shoot the nine, the 40, and the 45, and then go check the plates. So real quick, here's my Smith & Wesson Model 59. Let's shoot two with a nine millimeter here. See what we can do. Definitely a little bit more boogie on that nine millimeter. Then for the 40, what is this? A SIG P239. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spin that around quick. It's got a little bit more pop on the 40. All right, one more shot with the 40.
and two shots with the 45 ACP. This is a Glock 21. Definitely moving the vest, but did it stop the bullets? Let's go check it out. So we definitely saw that vest moving on the other camera. So looking at the vest there, you can see, let me get it where I'm not standing in your shadow. You can see all of our hits are right there. <clears throat> those are those three 80s and the rest of them, all our new holes are right there in the center right where those plates are sitting on this table. So here's the moment of truth. Look at those plates, all completely shiny white. I don't even see a ridge on those plates at all. Do you guys? Let's go, let me flip this open. I wanna see the inside of this vest. See if there's any holes on the inside of the nylon quick. So here's the vest here. Right there is the side we've been shooting. On the back there, no holes, nothing. It's clean, just like it's brand new. Can definitely feel that that material is altered a little bit. There's little spots in it where brand new it was completely smooth, but it definitely stopped all those bullets and did not even put any dents in those plates. So let's go and take some shots with our three biggest here. 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, and the 454 Cussel. Next, we've got our revolvers. This is my Taurus Model 66 in 357 Magnum. Let's shoot one of these and see what happens. Let's shoot another one. Definitely some pop on that. I'm gonna move it back a little bit. Next, we have a Smith & Wesson Performance Center 44 Magnum. A big shout out to Gun Prime for sending this one out so we could use it in this video. We appreciate them. You guys go check out Gun Prime. Let's take two shots with this 44 Magnum. Oh boy. If you didn't know, I'm a big, big revolver fan. Shoot two of the 44 mags at it. Definitely move the vest back. I'm gonna move it back again. These magnums definitely have a lot more pop and pushing it across that slick table. But take one more shot with the 44 magnum. Ooh, you guys see that thing move? Shoo doggy. And our last shot here, probably my favorite. This is my Taurus Raging Judge Magnum. And we've got it loaded with one 454 Casul hot, hot brown. But we'll see if that vest can handle the 454 Casul. Ha! Helps if you uh, load it on the round there. But let's try that again. Definitely felt that one in my wrist, but let's go check it out and see if that vest stopped even these Magnum calibers. All right, so you guys saw with the 357, the 44 Magnum, and then also the 454 Casul, when the bullet hit that vest, it definitely scooted that thing back across the table. And that table's definitely slick, but the smaller calibers didn't do that. But let's take a quick look here, see what happened to the vest. I have no idea even what the round count is on this, but it's got to be somewhere around 20. You can see, I can definitely feel that there's a little bit of, like I said, disturbance in the material that's inside there, the bulletproof material, but it feels like it probably survived all those well, but let's check those plates and then we'll check the inside of this vest too. So let's pull this vest off. And so take a look here. There is 
one indentation well actually <clears throat> there's a little bit of an imprint right here on the bottom and then up at the top you can see there's a little bit of where that hit and i'm gonna guess that that was either 44 magnum or 454 casul but if you're getting hit with 20 rounds i bet you those bullets didn't come through but that's just that force and the pressure on the other side but one break of the plates and another indention right there but let's check the inside of that vest and see if any of the bullets actually came all the way through so there's the side we did not shoot and then check that out there is one break through that material but you know what the bullet isn't through there either there was just a little bit enough pressure one of those shots whichever one it was to break through the back of that so flip it back around we shot the mess out of that thing even with the ultra magnum calibers and looking at the back there's only one little thing that cracked that there but we did shoot it with a 44 Magnum and a 454 Casul. So, 454 Casul, outrageous power. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. That was a whole lot of fun testing out this vest from Safe Vest. But the thing survived. It stopped every single one of those bullets, even the high pressure 44 Magnum and the 454 Casul. So, super impressive. One of those really hot rounds at the end had enough to make a crease in the material but it still absolutely stopped the bullet now only bummer is i'm gonna have to go get another one because we shot the mess out of the back of this one but a big shout out to safe vest you guys check them out a big thanks to gun prime for sending some of those out for us to test just for this video y'all don't forget to subscribe to the heavy metal channel if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to the hootie hoo channel if you haven't already we'll see you on the next one hoo hoo